it's Friday night. The election continues to drag on. Pennsylvania and Georgia both swung blue, as I was hoping for. And I just figured we might as well end the week with something that's uh, really nice and lovely. So I have a book. It looks like this. It's a nice notebook. Um, I think it was gifted to me. Pretty much every notebook I've ever gotten has been gifted to me because people know I like to write. So it's an easy gift. Um, but what this is, what I've transformed this notebook into is something that I really encourage you to do as well because it is a wellspring of joy and inspiration to have on the daily. And it encourages me to keep track of things that mean something to me when I come across them. So this is called a commonplace book. And the name, I, I don't really understand like why it's named that. It's just an idea that dates back to the Renaissance where you have a book to keep track of quotes and interesting things that you've read. So if you're reading a lot of books like I do, even not a lot of books, even if you're just reading like a small handful of books, you guys have those moments where you're reading something, you come across a line or a paragraph and you're like, whoa, okay. You have to like reread it and look at it and it hits you in the heart or hits you in the gut or does something to you, makes you feel something. That's what I use this book for. For any quotes that have moved me in some way when I've stumbled across them. And this is a collection of quotes both from fiction that I read and nonfiction because a lot of fiction I read uh, has really beautiful moments as well. So for example, I want to, um, I mean, this is basically what it looks like. It's, I don't know how well you can see the pages. But it's super random. I mean, sometimes it's just one-off quotes. Sometimes there's a series of quotes from whatever book I'm reading. Um, like, uh, I, I think I started this like a year ago or something like that. I have something from The Little Prince, the Bhagavad Gita in here. Uh, some, uh, yeah, so <laughs> The Perks of Being a Wallflower. So some uh, young adult fiction. It's, it's just, it's super all over the place. Um, so I wanted to share with you a couple uh, quotes that I, I've written down um, just to get the ball rolling. But I really do encourage you guys, if you read some amount of time and you're like, oh, I forget everything I read or, you know, you kind of lose the lessons. It's a it's a way to when I read through this, I'm like, OK, that was one of my main takeaways from the book, because it was a quote that hit me like an oof, like it hit me in the gut or like I said, the heart, and it gave me some kind of reaction. So when I collect several of those from any given book that I'm reading, anytime I flip through it, it, it fires up the, like, the inspiration propellers within me and really just helps me like blink my eyes open a little bit more and, and remember, okay, I'm alive, uh, I'm inspired, it's, it's all good. So one of, my, um, one of my favorite books of all time uh, fiction is Gone Girl of all books. It's so interesting and dark. Uh, but there's a there's an excellent, interesting quote from the narrative of the twisted protagonist. I don't know that we are actually human at this point. Those of us who are like most of us, who grew up with TV and movies and now the internet. If we are betrayed, we know the words to say. When a loved one dies, we know the words to say. If we want to play the stud or the smart ass or the fool, we know the words to say. We are all working from the same dog-eared script. It's a very difficult era in which to be a person, just a real, actual person, instead of a collection of personality traits selected from an endless automat of characters. Is that not awesome? Uh, there's some really great... Um, there's another... Um, one of my favorite books of all time, like another one would be Anna Karenina. I love the way Tolstoy writes just with, um, so many, so many layers of, uh, depth in there. And there's a couple, uh, it's just, just beautiful. He stepped down trying not to look long at her as if she were the sun. Yet he saw her like the sun, even without looking. Just, ah, so beautiful. Like that's just such a beautiful little, uh, little quote. Um, let me see. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, the Fault in Our Stars. It's not like the best book in the world, but there was a couple moments where uh, I was like, my heart was really moved. And this is a line that I loved from it. As he read, I fell in love the way you fall asleep, slowly and then all at once. Isn't that just totally gorgeous? Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's something from like, uh, like, I mean, all of these are great. I'm trying to find some key ones. Ooh, this is from a Rumi poem. I wrote this down recently. The bird of vision is flying towards you with the wings of desire. 
Love it. So good. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that would be... I recently read a book called The Untethered Soul, which, um, which I, I saved quite a lot of quotes from. You really don't need more time before death. What you need is more depth of experience during the time you're given. So just these little moments where I'm like, oh yeah, that's so obvious. But it hits me in a way where like, I, I wanna remember that. I wanna write it down somewhere so that I can flip through it if I need like a little boost or I just wanna, yeah, just, just want a collection of things that have moved me that I've read. I love this book. It brings me joy to fill it up. And when I had this book, I actually lost it for a while and rediscovered it. So that was very joyful. Another thing is when I'm reading books with uh, like knowing I have this, in some ways it actually makes me a little bit more cognizant when I'm reading too, because it's almost like in the back of my mind, the idea that I'm, I'm looking for the lesson or I'm looking for something to move me, it makes me pay a little bit more attention to the words that I'm reading and to pay a little bit more attention to uh, its impact and to open myself up enough to be moved by what I'm reading. So ending the week with the commonplace book, you guys. Lots of fun um, and a much nicer way to collect quotes than in random odds and scraps and papers. And, you know, I, I've had like five different internet files with quotes and I, I just, it's nice all in one place. Nice when it's a hard copy. And that's where I'm going to end it this week. Uh, sleep well, you guys. I don't know about you. I've not been sleeping that well, so I will. And we'll catch up next week.